Hello, my name is Thomas Kubica and in this video I am going to demonstrate the very basic ClearPass guest configuration. So let's start with our Aruba Instant AP and we want to configure some guest network here. First, I'm going to the system and I want uh, my virtual controller uh, in, uh, in the Instant AP cluster to actually work as a, a radius proxy for all APs which are parts of the cluster to make uh, my life a little bit easier. You don't have to do it. Uh, but uh, with that, all the authentication requests will be coming from the virtual IP, which might have some benefits. So let's create the, the network, which will be of the uh, guest type. So let's put some name here, click Next. Uh, we don't have to change anything here. Now, uh, the, the splash page will not be here, will be external, will be on our ClearPass guest. So let's create a new Kafka portal profile. So we will say some name here, some clear paths. And we will use radius authentication here. And uh, what I want to do here is I put a IP address of my clear paths guest and the URL, uh, which is going to be slash login PHP. Uh, this needs to be the same as we will configure later on as you will see during this demonstration. I'm disabling HTTPS just to make it very simple for this demonstration. And then what about authentication? Well, authentication will be against a clear pass. So not only that uh, the portal is uh, on a clear pass guest, authentication is going to be against clear pass policy manager. So let's put the IP address of my clear pass here and some short secret. I will also enable accounting. We have some short interval just, just for the purpose of this demonstration. And that is uh, for this thing, uh, everything we need. And now let's uh, look into the role. So there is a default guest role, which basically allows everything. Uh, you can specify some other things here, modify you know, policies based on application recognition and things like that. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create a yet another role, which is pre-authentication role. You don't have to do this. If you have just um, desired to have um, communication with a ClearPass guest, you don't have to do this. I just want to show you that not only that user which is not authenticated can access the ClearPass uh, guest server, you can also put some other services here. So, for example, the user can access your company web pages. Uh, even he is not authenticated or uh, can read the menu in a in a restaurant uh, if you're in a in a hotel or whatever like that so we will we will just uh, create the pre authentication profile and we will say that pre authentication role is going to be guest pre auth so as i said you don't have to do it if you don't really need to specify some extra services before the authentication but i just wanted to show show you how to, how to do this and we're basically done in the instant ap so we can move on to the clearpass policy manager and log in into its GUI and start to set up our configuration here. So let's first go to the configuration section and let's add the devices. So we want to have our Aruba Instant AP cluster configured here. So we'll put some IP address here. In my case, this is going to be IP address of the virtual IP uh, of the cluster, some short secret, and we're done with that. So next, um, let's go to the wizard so it makes uh, things uh, very simple for us and um, look here for the guest access web login so let's click on this wizard and go through that so name prefix we'll just put some name here it doesn't really matter for us now right now go to the next section now page if you go here uh, there is nothing here so we need to really create um, the authentication page first so I've clicked on add new I'm in the ClearPass guest and I'm going to create a new web login page so let me put some name here and configure some other parameters so that's the page name is actual URL we have configured in our Arbine Sun EP. I will leave basically everything on defaults. We want to use uh, credentials here, but you can disable it. So it can be just, you know, that you need to click and agree with the terms and conditions and you don't have to specify anything. In our case, we're going to use uh, a username password authentication. So uh, I'm going to change and localize some of the names here. So it's in my local language. 
we will use pre-authentication check with the app authentication. So basically, uh, the ClearPass guest will first authenticate on the app level and then will initiate the radius uh, request, which is you know really really secure way how to do things. Uh, you can you know turn it off and do not do any pre auth but it, it is really a good practice to do it like that. So we are changing some things here. I'm localizing it into my local language so that people can understand. Uh, so you can you can do some changes here if you really want you can really change the template or you can create your own HTML pages altogether it's not a problem uh, what I'm doing here is that I am changing some just some of the attributes here so some default URL redirection we don't have to do it and I will go with the gallery skin which is pre-built skin which is you know pretty cool and uh, of course you can change it and customize it to your needs and there are some header information in the HTML, so I'm doing a little bit of the customizations here as well. Basically, you know, just changing it to my local language. And I can do the same with a header, with a footer, with, a, with the login messages. So you don't really have to be HTML coder altogether to actually do it. You don't have to, you know, play with the files and things like that. In this GUI, you can actually customize almost everything you need for uh, for authentication. If you want to go further, you can, but I believe that everything is here. There can be some advertising or login to the social networks. We're not going to do it in this demonstration, so we are fine with that. We just click on Save Changes and wait a little bit till the ClearPass guest uh, server is actually uh, uh, is actually refreshed with that. So that's our login page. We can actually test it and see uh, how it looks. So it looks like that. So you can see some some check uh, check things in there. That's because we we did some uh, uh, some changes and customizations here. So let's go back to our wizard here and refresh. And now we should see the login page here. So we have our page configured. So we can do some other restrictions based on um, days or time and things like that. We don't have to do this so that's that's the first thing then go back to the wizard and we need to set up the actual radius uh, authentication as well this was you know just for the application level authentication so let's let's do the same uh, for for the radius communication so let's go to the wireless settings here and I will specify you know just uh, my uh, wireless controller and limit it to the specific SSID just you know for the pace of security or I might have a different SSIDs with with a different policies and things like that so I can specify some bandwidth with here uh, if I want to make it really really simple uh, so uh, I will just add the service and basically I should be ready now uh, from the point of configuring the ClearPass uh, policy policy manager as well as ClearPass guest so we have those two services here and we should be pretty much ready uh, to give it a try so uh, before we do that, uh, we might probably want to have some users, some guest users configured here. I will use guest manager. Uh, this is the configuration of the guest manager. So what I want to do here is that I will make the usernames a little bit shorter, but I can really customize it. So the, the password and the usernames which are generated uh, by the guest administrators can be specified here. You can have a uh, different, you know, uh, time um, uh, restrictions like one hour, five hours. You can really customize a lot here, but uh, I did not really go into too much of the details. I'm going to administration section of the ClearPass. Uh, I need to switch to the ClearPass policy manager. Uh, so what I want to do, I want to create the administrate uh, user, uh, which is GM, which I have created beforehand, and the GM is receptionist. So let me now log out of the ClearPass guest and log in again with this account, which is really designed just for creating users guest users all right so here i am and i have some uh, some web form to fill in here so let's create a new guest over here so some email company name things like that i wanted to activate it uh, for example now and i want it to expire let's say one day from now okay 
I'm a sponsor of it, so my name as a guest manager will be will be stored in a clear pass guest, so you know exactly what is happening. And what I can do is now print it or send it via the SMS or email or use uh, uh, any other form to do this. So let me log out and log in again as a real administrator, and let's uh, uh, see uh, how we can do some uh, some uh, uh, accounts in a batch beforehand. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create uh, two accounts, just to make it simple, which will be valid for a one week. Um, um, and uh, let's create this account and here we can see that there is a uh, uh, two accounts created so once again you can print it you can save it into a CSV and so on and so forth so now you're looking to my phone and what I'm going to do in my phone I will use one of those users so I will go with ASNU that's the reason why I've shortened the uh, username so I, I, I don't have to type that much and uh, the password I agree with the terms and conditions and then I will simply log in and I should get into the network. So what we have demonstrated here is how to set up ClearPass Policy Manager as well as ClearPass Guest, create a really, really nice and cool login pages and how Guest Manager can actually log in and create an account by hand or how can we do account generation and batches and, and print it somewhere or create 100 accounts in, in the single run. So that's that's pretty much about it. And the last thing we want to do is perhaps go to the monitoring section of the ClearPass and check logs to make sure that really the authentications has been happening as we have expected. So that's pretty much about it. This is how you can bootstart, uh, bootstrap your uh, experience with a ClearPass guest together with Aruba Instant AP. Thank you.